When you've lived somewhere most of your life, there are memories everywhere. He'd always say, Mom, I would never sell this place. And for Jerry Price, it was a life he wanted for his kids. They uh, talk about Daddy all the time. Samantha Price had 34 years of memories with her only child, but the last came on the back of his dad's log truck. Jerry died of a drug overdose. Even though people do drugs, it doesn't mean they're the worst person in the world. They just need help. They buried him in early July. How do you get over losing your child? But this home is where his spirit stays. Part of me went with you the day God called you home, and it does. A big part. Price says her son struggled with drug abuse for years. His toxicology report showed fentanyl in his system that was 11 times the therapeutic level. I think all the time, what could I have done? Different. That's a question with no tangible answer. But there are facts, Price says, that could have saved her son's life. And he was laying curled up in the back seat. She says there were people with Price when he overdosed, driving his van. They just drove him around. They drove him from Berea back into Rockcastle County. They drove him for three or four hours and him like that. If they would have took, took the time just to drop him out at the hospital. There's a piece of legislation that's meant to support just that. The Good Samaritan law was meant to give a pass to people who witness an overdose. They can get help for the victim without facing any punishment for being present. Would the Good Samaritan law have helped save his life? It could have, yes. Yeah, definitely. Rockcastle County Sheriff Mike Peters is investigating Price's death. It's my understanding from, from uh, the information that we have at this point uh, that possibly as many as three hospitals were passed where he could have been helped. He thinks most people don't know the law exists, and if they do, they probably wouldn't trust it. I think a lot of the, a lot of people still think that possibly, you know, hey, it's a trap. They're going to catch me, and I'm going to, you know, so I don't want a part of it. Is it going to work in every situation? Of course not. No law works in every situation. It's another tool. It's another tool we've put out there to try to save lives. Office of Drug Control Policy Director Van Ingram says the law that took effect last spring hasn't had time to sink in here. If you look at Cincinnati, who has a similar law and, 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 and had 123 overdoses in a very short period of time, only three of which were fatal. What's that tell you? People are calling. For Price, no one helped. Reports say his wallet was missing when he was found. As to what mindset they had, why they would not stop somewhere, I can't tell you. I know he done the drugs. I knew that. But they took the choice away from him when they didn't try to get him help. 